Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue looking at themes from the book of Jeremiah, specifically focused this week on how we must listen to God. James 1 verse 19 from the New Testament reminds us, This you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I guess I never thought about it in quite the same way, but many times being quick to hear and slow to speak has an impact on our ability to control anger. The truth is when we listen, when we listen deeply to each other, when we listen deeply to ourselves, and more than anything else, when we listen deeply to the voice of God, We're often humbled enough to pause, to reflect, to consider, which makes us slow to speak. And at times when it's truly the voice of God that is speaking to our hearts, we're slower to anger, slower to lash out, slower to try and control. It's amazing to me how many different pieces and places of our life are impacted when we have a relationship with God that is living enough that we're in constant communication, constant dialogue. It's kind of like days that we spend with someone who is good for our soul. Even when we're not speaking directly to them, their presence beside us calms us, fills us, steadies us, grounds us. That, of course, is what it's like to have that kind of relationship with God, that because we would be quick to listen and to hear God's voice, we're slower to speak and slower to anger because the voice of God is moving and soothing and leading within us. Today, I encourage you to know, first of all, that you are beloved to God and you are beloved to those who walk with God simply by the fact that you are one made by God. And in that community, in that context where you're worthy and held and needed and known simply because you are God's child, in that context, You are invited to be quick to hear, to hear God, to hear yourself, to hear others, slow to speak, and slower yet to anger. God, we're grateful that hearing you changes everything, that speaking to you changes how we speak to each other, that loving you and allowing your love to penetrate our hearts changes even the way and the intensity with which we respond to one another. God, give us grace and commitment to listen for you, to hear you, and to be obedient as you lead. In Jesus' name, amen.